New at 10 o'clock tonight, the changing landscape of Pinnacle Mountain State Park. Some new sculptures at the park are drawing the ire of local hikers. Some have even started a petition to stop the installation of any more. Channel 7's Andrew Mobley made the hike to see these colorful structures and joins us with more now. Andrew? The art installations were part of an artist in residence program in which artists from Arkansas and beyond were to derive inspiration from the park. Uh, I don't even have an opinion of what that is. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. It just looks like a, a blob of something. Whatever one thinks of the new sculptures at Pinnacle Mountain State Park, you can't deny how striking they are. These sculptures are referred to as the mushrooms. This one on the East Quarry Trail is called Crystallized Tears. The new art pieces installed late last year have not received a warm welcome from some hikers who say they are so out of place that they distract from the typical goal of a hike to escape into a natural environment untouched by humans. It looks like a jumble of trash. It looks like, you know, Somebody took a, a tornado wreckage from, you know, and just s stuck up there on a slab of concrete. Hamilton is clearly not alone in his view of the sculptures. Since he created the Change.org petition four days ago, it has received over 1,700 signatures. The aim of the petition is to prevent the installation of any more sculptures in Arkansas State Parks. I'm trying to get in touch with Arkansas State Parks, you know, some emails back. I haven't heard back yet, and I will present that to them. And you know, just to see what see what they have to say about it and, you know, make it aware that the majority of the people who use the state parks, you know, who like to get out there and enjoy nature are, are not for, you know, the sculptures like this. The Arkansas Department of Parks, Heritage and Tourism provided the following statement to KATV concerning the sculptures. There was no taxpayer money used for this installation. It was a private donation through the Arkansas Parks and Recreation Foundation, which also privately funded Arkansas State Park monument trails at Pinnacle Mountain, Mount Nebo, Devil's Den, and Hobbs State Parks, recently named the best mountain biking trails in America by Outside Magazine. And not everybody is condemning the art installations. Matt Seelinger, an avid mountain biker, says they don't bother him or anyone he knows. We just ride by them and, you know, catch it out of the corner of our eye, but we don't ever stop and go, ooh, ah. Ah, that's really cool. Just doesn't happen. Uh, if it's something to get somebody outside and walking out in the woods going, ooh, what is that? It's, I think that's a great idea. And as some have pointed out, some of the art pieces are reminiscent of sculptures in a particular film. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So let's watch out for the sandworms. Personally, I think the sculptures have their own sort of allure from certain angles. Uh, on your side, I'm Andrew Mobley. It's all in the eye of the beholder, Andrew. Thanks very much. By the way, at least one more sculpture is expected to be installed at Pinnacle Mountain State Park as part of that artist in residency.